Hi friends, in arithmetic ability, let us see the topic number system. So the important topic this is. Now after explaining this topic, I'll explain you some questions like practice exercise. Now again in this some uh, questions which are related to number system. So first I'll explain you the complete information about number system. Then we will see the sample questions from the same topic number system. Now these are all the questions which are useful for any competitive exams. Any competitive exams. So with the questions, the most important questions which will come, I am going to explain. And before that, if you did not subscribe this channel, please do subscribe. And regarding this videos and some other information and material, you will find all the information in this uh, website. You can see here foundation for iit.com not only competitive exam type questions along with that ICSC, CBSC, SSC and intermediate uh, information and material also is available. Now fine. Now let us begin the topic number system. So numbers. All the numbers are combination of digits right. Now digits are decimals that is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Now these are the 10 digits commonly used in our number system. Now these 10 symbols used to represent the digits. Now based on these digits only we can make the numerals. So numeral is a combination of digits. Numerals means the combination of these all the digits are numerals 23, 467. So, all the points which are seen, even like in decimals forms, also you know all these things. Now, we'll come to the next. I mean, let me explain the face value and place value number system. Face value and place value. Face value and place value. See what is the difference between these two. For example, if I take uh, 146. So first I am explaining about the face value. Irrespective of its place in the numeral, every digit has a face value which is equal to the value of the digits itself. In 146, the face value of 4 is 4 itself. The face value of 6 is a 6 only. The face value of 1 is 1. So no change in this. So in this number, the face value of 4 is 4. That means that itself. But place is different. The face means direct to the number itself. When you come to the place, now this is a each digit place besides the face value. Now, okay, for example, you take 365. The place value of 5 place value of 5 is 5 into 1 that is 1's place that is 5 face value of 6 is 6 into the 6th place is 10 6 into 10 60 now place value of uh, 3 that is 3 into the 3 places 100s right 1's 10's and 100's that is uh, 300 now 300 is the place value of uh, Three. Yeah, the face value and place value. Face value is not change. Only the place value is change according to the the place of that particular digit. Now let us see the type of uh, numbers. Then we'll go to the topic one by one. Let me explain all the types of numbers. types of numbers that means all the number systems <coughs> now the first type is natural numbers natural numbers
So natural numbers are denoted by the capital N, starting with N. Now it's a counting numbers. We can call them or counting numbers also because we'll count anything which starts with one. That's what natural numbers you can call it as counting numbers. The reason is the numbers will start from one itself. One, two, three, four, and so on infinity. That's what natural numbers only we can call it as a counting numbers also. The next number system is whole numbers. The next number system is whole numbers. So in this whole numbers, we'll denote with W. Same all the natural numbers, the next right zero added by zero. Zero, one, two, three, and so on up to infinity. Just including the zero, all the natural numbers, including zero, we can call the whole numbers. Next. The next system is uh, integers. Integers will denote with Z or sometimes they'll denote with even I also. Actually, intermediate level of uh, integral we will use I. Actually, Z is the Latin term that is a zillion. So, using that, we'll, they'll use the integers with the symbol Z. So, this is a set of positive and negative whole numbers are nothing but this integers. That means all the negative and all the positive numbers. For example, so on, minus 3, minus 2. So everything, minus 4, minus 5, minus 1, 0. Again, followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, infinity. All the positive and negative numbers of whole numbers. Or called integers. Next uh, number system is rational numbers. So rational numbers are denoted by Q is a quotient. So Q we used rational numbers, the numbers of the form P by Q. So this is in P by Q form, but condition is here Q should not be equal to zero. And P comma Q or belongs to the integers except to zero. Only Q should not be zero. So example 2 by 3 minus 4 by 6 everything no 1 by 2 so so on but q should not be 0 so you can't take 6 by 0 so this is not a rational number only p by q form and q is not equal to 0 next rational opposite is irrational Irrational numbers are, which we cannot write as rational, they are irrational numbers. So, irrational numbers. This we can be denoted by just Q dash, small iPhone. The numbers which cannot be written in the form of P by Q. And PQR integers are known as irrational numbers. So, which we cannot return means that example square root of 2, square root of 3, and square root of 4 should not take because square root of value is 2. So, this is uh, not irrational. So, this is not. Again, root 5, root 6. So, which we cannot write as perfect square, they are all the irrational numbers. So, square root of 4 is not a irrational. Only root 2, root 3, root 5, root 6, root 7, so on. If, if for example, if you take root 9, that is the value of 3. Because 3 square is 9. So, this is also not a irrational. The rational numbers which we cannot write, irrational means which we cannot write in rational form, they are irrational numbers. Now, these all the number system come under real numbers. So real numbers will denote with capital R. 
that is rational plus irrational because all the natural numbers are in whole whole numbers let us see here all the natural numbers are in whole numbers all the whole numbers are in integers again all the integers are in rational numbers because even 3 also we can write 3 by 1 so this also p by q form right so all the rational plus irrational is real numbers now these are the number system next we have based on these numbers even odd prime so some numbers are there even numbers so even numbers the multiples of 2 all the even numbers are multiples of 2 so for example 2 4 6 8 10 and 12 so on all the multiples of 2 or which are divisible by 2 they are all the even numbers <coughs> now odd numbers so apart from even numbers remaining all odd numbers that means if we get remainder 1 if we divide by 2 that is 1 3 5 7 9 so on so these are all the odd numbers so general form of even number is 2n and general form of odd number is 2n plus 1 because one number is odd this is the general form because n is a whole number here n is any whole number here also n belongs to whole number even and odd next if you see the some other numbers the prime numbers these all are from number system only in prime numbers the prime number is the number which has only two factors that is one and itself okay for example if i take three three i can write only three into one and one into three so one and three itself are factors so three is the prime number four if i take this i can write four into one one into four still two into two also is also 4 that's what 4 is a not a prime <coughs> there is no common factor except 1 and itself the prime numbers so you can add example of 5 7 8 is in 2 table 9 in 3 table 10 and 11 so there is no common factors they are all the prime numbers <coughs> Now, the opposite of uh, prime numbers is composite numbers. Composite numbers. Now, these are just numbers which have more than two factors. Otherwise, other than prime numbers. More than two factors. Example, 4, 8, 10. So, for 4, we have factors 1. 2 and 4 8 also we have factors 1 2 4 and 8 these are all the factors 10 also we have factors 1 2 5 and 10 so more than two factors otherwise other than prime numbers they are all composite numbers now we'll see the co primes Co primes. We have two terms co primes and twin primes. I'll explain this both. Co primes means, for example, if you take some natural numbers, okay, if you take 2, 3, so highest to common factor. So for this both there is no common factor only except one now if i take seven comma nine seven is prime but nine is not prime here is here seven is a prime number 
9 is not prime but 7 comma 9 together is co prime because there is no common factor for these both except one for 2 and 3 also no common factors except one so they are all co primes we can take 8 comma 11 because 8 we have factors 1 2 4 8 11 we have factors only 1 comma 11 so except 1 there is no other common factor so they are co primes now if we twin primes is these are only prime numbers the difference between the primes is 2 now 11 comma 13 these are twin primes only twins just near side by but the gap should be them is 2 that 13 minus 11 is 2 so you can say some more 3 comma 5 because 13 minus 11 is 2 and 5 minus 3 is 2 so difference between the primes if it is 2 they are called twin primes right now these are the numbers and number system now let me explain some divisibility rules then we'll go for worksheet some small examples divisibility tests or divisibility rules so if you know proper divisibility rules for any number then we can do the problems very easily that's what we'll check some uh, divisibility rules divisibility rule or the divisibility tests we'll see the one number wise first let us take example 2 so what are the numbers are divisible by 2 if any number is divisible by 2 if their units place is if even digit now for example when its unit place is even or 0 units place must be 0 2 4 6 8 now these all numbers are divisible by 2 so example 198 now 8 is the even digit so 198 is divisible by 2 now here 6 is the units place that is uh, divisible by 2 so the whole number is divisible by 2 divisibility rules and 3 if you take next divisible rule for 3 when sum of the digits of the numbers is divisible by 3 here sum of the digits sum of the digits let me take one example ok if you take 456 4 so we need to add all the digits 4 plus 5 plus 6 4 plus 5 is 9 9 plus 6 is 15 now 15 is divisible by 3 because 3 5 is 15 so 456 also divisible by 3 so we can test only you have to add the sum of the digits <coughs> by 4 now divisible rule for 4 take for 4 for 4 we just you have to check the only last two digits if the last two digits are divisible by 4 then that particular number is divisible by 4 2384 if we, uh, for example 84 is the last two digits means 1's place and 10's place if 84 is divisible by 4, then 2384 also divisible by 4. 84 is divisible by 4, right? 4 2 is 8, 4 again 1 is 4. 
remainder is 0. So 2384 also divisible by 4. Only last two digits we need to check. Divisible rule for 5. 5 is just uh, simple. Only last two digit either 0 or 5. The last digit is either 0 or 5. It is divisible by 5. Anything 1020 0 is last digit 1565 5 is the last digit. So these are divisible by 5. For 6, 6 is actually 2 into 3. So we should apply divisible rule for 2 and divisible rule of 3. Both if it satisfies, then it is divisible by 6. 3216 so we should apply both rules first it is divisible by 2 because units place is 6 okay now check for 3 3 means 3 plus 2 plus 1 plus 6 3 plus 2 is 5 6 12 so 12 is divisible by 3 so it's both satisfied by 3 as well as by 2 then it is divisible by 6 2 divisible rule and 3 divisible rule both should be satisfied let us take for 7 so divisible rule for 7 is uh, some important I'll explain here when the digits in units place is doubled and can be subtracted from the remaining numbers uh, okay with the example I'll explain it 1071 to check this number is divisible by 7 or not, double the last digit and subtract from the remaining. Double the last digit and subtract from remaining number. From the remaining number, we need to subtract the double digit, last digit. Now, last digit is 1. If you make double 2, now 107 minus 2. Double the last digit, subtract from the remaining. You should not take that again total number. That is uh, 5. Now, again, repeat the same. 105, last digit is double. If it 10, 0. So, if you get any multiple of 7, they are dissolved by 7. 2961. Okay, one more example I'll tell you. 2961. Now, 1 is the last digit. If you double it, 296 minus 2. If you double, 492. Now, again, this 4 you cut, double the last digit and subtract from the remaining. That is 21. So, 21 is divisible by 7 with the 7 threes are. So, 2961 also divisible by 7. Let us see even for 8, 9, 8, 9, 10, 11. Rule for 8 is we just check the last 3 digits. If the last three digits are divisible by 8, then the total number is divisible by 8. Okay, example 546024. Uh, okay, 5 lakhs 46,024. In this last three digits are 0, 2, 4. That means 24. 24 is divisible by 8. So this total number also divisible by 8. Same like 4. 4 means we check last two digits right so last three digits you have to check for rule for eight now divisible rule for nine nine is similar like three we just add the digits and the sum should be divisible by nine okay in this also sum of the digits so 
so sum of the digits means just you can okay two four six five nine one add the digits if that sum of the digits are divisible by nine that is two plus four plus six plus five plus nine plus one six twelve twelve plus five seventeen twenty seven so twenty seven again you can add if you want two plus seven nine so finally you'll get only nine until single digit if you add surely you'll get nine if you get nine then that number is divisible by nine and rule for 10 is simple just use the last digit is zero rule for 10 last is mean units place if units place is a zero then that number is divisible by 10 for example 120 so zero 300 and or 3040 last digit is 0 so that is divisible by 10 now let us see 11 then we'll go for some other topic rule for 11 add digits at every even place and odd places and the difference is 2 digits is 0 or multiple of 11 I will explain it to you for example, 32 lakhs 42. To check this number is divisible by 11 or not, we have to add simultaneous numbers, means alternate numbers, even places numbers and odd places numbers. Okay, even places digits and odd places digits we should add. There are 3 plus. 4 plus 6 plus 2 on top and down is 2 plus 5 plus 8 and add this okay 7 13 and this is 15 this is also 15 if the difference is either 0 or any multiple of 11 even 11 22 33 if you get also difference then that is number is divisible by 11 So some more divisibility rules uh, explain some other videos uh, even for 12 13 other numbers you can see in description below or you can click on the links and you can go for the remaining rules of the other numbers now let us come to this topic with some example questions which are linked with the number system Okay, let me see. We'll see some questions. Okay, let's see. Okay, fine. Now, this uh, practice exercise questions we'll discuss. So, one exercise uh, question I will explain you here. Some more exercise questions and some other material also is. Uh, in website which I show you otherwise click on the link in description so you'll directly you can download some other worksheets which are related to number system and some other topics a few questions you'll see the difference between okay the difference between the place value and face value of 6 in the numeral place value and face value so I explain you starting face of uh, 6 means 6 itself because no change because face value is 6 this is 6 6 itself you can take and place value of 6 ones tens hundreds thousands so thousands place it is that is 6 into 1000 minus the 6 so 6000 minus 6 because there is 1000 6 minus so 5994 so place value and face value difference 
that is obviously 6000 minus 6 so 5990 so option 3 in 784 into 618 into 917 into 463 what is the units units place digit so we need not to multiply this total four numbers just you multiply the units place now 4 into 8 32 in the 32 units place is 2 now here 7 into 3 that is 21 units place is 1 again 2 into 1 is 2 so finally you will get the units place is 2 only we need to multiply the units digits then obviously we get answer 7 to the power ok you will get some questions like this 7 to the power 106 units digit units place of 4137 to the power 754 so like these questions, I'll explain you one method here. <coughs> if any number to the power some other number if they'll give. Okay, now this question. 7 to the power 106. 7 to the power 106. 7 to the power 106. In this, what is the units place? So this is a cyclicity method, you can call it as 7 to the power what values to be changed. For example, let us say 7 to the power 1 is 7. 7 to the power 2 is 7 into 7, 49, but units place is 9. Here is units place is 7. 7 to the power 3. So some digits will come, but units place is Again, 9 into 7, 3 will come in its place. That is 343. Again, 7 to the power 4. Some digits will come. Finally, in its place, here is 3, right? Now, 3 into 7, 21. So, 1. Again, if you continue, it will be repeated. 7 to the power 5, again, you will get 7 in its place. 7 to the power 6, you get 9 in units place. 7 power 7, you get 3 in units place. 7 power 8, you will get 1 in units place. So, 7, 9, 3, 1 is repeating. 7, 9, 3, 1, it will repeat continuously for 7 to the power any number. But which digit will come? <coughs> so, we should take this power first. Take this power 1 or 4. 4 digits are repeating, right? So, 4 you should divide. 106 divided by 4 so based on the remainder now if the remainder is 1 2 3 and 0 if you get remainder is 1 7 is the answer if remainder get is 2 9 is the answer if remainder is 3 3 is the answer if remainder is 0 again 1 is the answer because 7 to the power 4 7 power 8 these all remainder zeros 4 2 is 8 6 then 4 uh, 6 I will see 2 so remainder is 2 2 means the 9 is answer so remainder is 2 so 9 is the answer so units place is 9 any number we just check just 4 4 will repeat now 9 is the answer for this even now see this units place digit in 4137 all to the power 754 let us see same thing 4000 question is 4000 yeah, 137 power 754 137 power 754 right 754 now we have to find out units place now okay this units digit is 7 
now seven cyclicity rule is seven nine three one. Now take seven fifty four and divide by four. Four ones are four. Three remainder five. Okay, four eights are thirty two and three four. Again, four eights are thirty two. So final remainder is two. If you get remainder two. Same nine is the answer. If remainder is one seven, remainder is two nine, remainder is three three, remainder is zero one. Now remainder is uh, two, so nine is the answer. Nine is the unit digit. Okay, nine is in unit place. Now this five six seven, some are just multiplication questions. Few questions I'll explain. Some more questions you can see a uh, description below for different an other answers. Difference between the largest four digit and the smallest three digit. Largest four digit. Largest four digit is four nines. And the smallest three digit is hundred. So nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine minus hundred. So nine thousand. Eight hundred ninety-nine. One is the answer. Next question: Which of the following number is divisible by nine? Okay, nine rule I explained, right? Just we have to add all the digits, and which is divisible by. That nine, then the total number is divisible by nine. Okay, let us see here. First time adding all the digits. Seven plus five. Twelve. Twelve plus three. Fifteen. And seventeen. Twenty-one. Twenty-six. Twenty-six and eight. Thirty-four. So thirty-four is not in nine table. Next time. Six plus eight, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-four and eight, same thirty-two. Thirty-two is not nine table, so it's not divisible by nine. Add this: six plus two, eight. Eight plus three, eleven, fifteen, twenty, and thirty-six. Sixteen. So thirty-six is in nine table, right? So. This is divisible by nine. Just we have to add all the digits. Okay, similar question. One more thing they asked: three thirty-seven power three thirty-seven. Three thirty-seven all to the power three thirty-seven. So seven is in units place. Just you will see. Take that power and divisible by four. Four table. Eight so thirty two seventeen for four so sixteen remainder is one. See here remainder is one. So remainder is one means seven is answer. So seven is in units place. Units place is seven. Option three. So not only for seven for other numbers also you can do the same. For example, okay, let me explain some other questions like this. Okay, for example, if you take three, one thirty. Okay, one thousand three hundred and forty-three to the power one twenty-eight. So in this, what is the units digit? <coughs> so here, the base value, in the units place in base is three. So we should find out the cyclicity of three. That means which number will repeat. Three power one, units digit is three. Three power two, nine. Three power three, nine. Three is the again twenty-seven, so seven. Only units place I am writing. Three to the power four. Again seven three is the twenty-one. Because three three is the nine, nine nine is the eighty-one will come. 
1 3 to the power 5 again it will repeat 3 power 5 3 power 6 3 power 7 3 power 8 if you do same thing you will get 3 9 7 1 as the units places so this is our cyclicity for 3 3 9 7 1 this you remember now if the, according to the remainder we will get the answer okay if the remainder is a 1 3 is answer 2 3 and 0 now according to our question 128 now take this 128 and divide by 4 128 divide by 4 why 4 because uh, only 4 digits are repeating every 4 time every 4 digits uh, recycling uh, cycling cyclicity time now 4 table 4 3 is 12 8 4 2 is 8 so remainder is 0 so 1 is the answer. 1 is the units place. Same. Every number just if you find which digits is repeating according to that we can see it. 3 is this. For different questions is different. Okay. For example if you take 6 it is not changed. 6 to the power 1 is 6 only. 6 to the power 2 36. Same 6 will come. 6 to the power 3 also same 6 one will come in units digit that means any number with the units digit is 6 that unit digit also 6 only now 316 to the power 8 14 so units place is obviously 6 itself because 6 to the power any number is 6 only so some things some are change are same so what are same for 6 it is same again 5 also same only 5 6 even for 1 also same thing same answer will get 1 5 6 and 0 the 0 also is the same 0 will come these are the 5 these 4 are fixed same number will come as units place so some other only changing okay so these are the type of questions The smallest number subtracted from 8,112 to make it exactly divisible by 99. So directly 99 you divide and subtract the remainder. So you get how much exactly the no subtract smallest number subtracted from this one to make exactly divisible by 99 will come. So such type of questions I just uploaded one or some other video that you can see in description. So which are this type like HCF and LCM type of questions is all. So you can find out. So one more video is there in the same book, in the same series, the LCM and HCF. So this video, if you see, you'll understand like this type of questions. Sum of all the integers between 200 and 400 divisible by 9. Okay. So like 14, 15, and some series uh, videos also is there. Number series. Not only number system. This is a number series video. You can, if you are uh, gone through this, then you can see such type of questions. These are the combination of all the type of problems. Now one more worksheet. Practice exercise two. So you can see this. So you can download these all the worksheets including the solutions in the description below. If you click on the link you will redirect to the website. Okay from there. From the particular website you can see some other videos also. So not uh, last but not the least, just subscribe this channel and go for other sites. Sorry for that. So all the number, uh, arithmetic ability, all the series, around uh, 35 topics I am going to explain. So in this all 35 topics, you will come to know all the information regarding this uh, arithmetic ability type of questions.
so like this uh, if you so not only uh, only this not only this arithmetic ability or some quantity ability other type of questions and other type of uh, content uh, also information is there because, because this is only completely educational type of uh, website and youtube channel so you can subscribe this so hope you understood well and thank you very much bye